Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and now in this video we will start with the development of a report from multiple tables and wherever possible we will completely completely use the new syntaxes. We will develop a report output is in the form of ALV and we will make maximum use wherever it is possible. We will make use of the new syntaxes. As so many people are saying, yes, we want a program in which the data is from multiple tables and we are using the new syntaxes. So we will go for the development of a report. And in this report, we will use completely inline data declaration wherever it is possible. We will use the new features of OpenSQL. We will use the table expressions. We will use the value operator. So we will make use of all those new things or new things which we studied as a part of new syntax. So we will use these things into this particular report or program. So what is the program? The input to the program is creation date. Creation date is from VBAK table ER DAT column. And the output, output has these six column. If you see this output, there is one column from VBAK table. From VBAP table, we have four column data. And from MAKT table, we have one column data. So output is from three tables, VBAK, VBAP, and MAKT. And we will completely make use of the new syntaxes. We have a dedicated playlist for the project case studies. At that time, it's at that time, I also took this similar kind of example. But that is a completely full case study in which we have Adobe form, smart form. We have so much input. We have so much output. But here we will just focus on developing a report by using wherever it is possible. Completely, completely new syntaxes. And you will also get the idea if you are developing a report, how you can make maximum use of the new syntaxes. So first and foremost point, before starting a report, whenever someone gave you that you need to develop this report. So firstly, check what is the relationship between the tables because blindly never start with the coding because you don't know what is the relationship between the table. So firstly, check the relationship between the tables. After that, you can start with the development of the program or report, whatever is assigned to you. So firstly, input is VBAKER data. So I will go to VBAK table. I will go to SC11 transaction code, VBAK table. You all know this is sales document header table. And VBELN sales document number is the primary key of the table. I will go to the content of the table. ER tag, creation date. Suppose I am giving 20th August to 22nd August. Your system data might be different from my system data. Whenever you are checking the relationship, check the data in your system or check or always, always connect with the functional person. Whenever functional will give the test data, based upon that, check the relationship between the tables. Suppose I am executing. Now, whenever I put the input, I got total seven sales order number based upon 20th August to 22nd August. And have you seen this sales order number is unique. This record is unique because sales order number is the primary key of the table. Now I will go to VBAP table, which is sales document item table. I will go to VBAP table. I will display this table. I will go to the contents of the table. Now, what is the relationship between these two tables? VBELN of VBAK table 
is VBELN of VBAP table. VBAP table. And in this table, we have two primary keys, but the common column is VBELN only. Go to the contents. Now, how you can copy this sales order number? Do control Y. Control Y yank. Then scroll. Whenever you will scroll, you will be able to select the multiple records. I am doing control Y. Now you can see I am able to select these records. Control C. Click on to this multiple selection button because this is VBELN. Paste. I will go for execute. Whenever I will execute, you can see four seven sales order number from 20th August to 22nd August, I got total eight records. Because for one sales order number, we might have multiple records in this VBAP table because this is your item table. These two are the primary keys of that table. You can see for 71, one record. 72, one record, 73, one record, 74, one record. But have you seen for 75, we have two records. For 76, we have two records. So you can see the line item number, 75, 10, 75, 20, 76, 10, 76, 20. And 117 is in header table, but it is not in item table as of now, because if we have a, a perception that it is not mandatory that sales order has an item data at the initial level. Yes, it will be in the future. Now, you can see the relationship between VBAK and VBAP is for one record of VBAK, we might have multiple records in VBAP. And what is the common column? VBELN. So, relationship between the table is 1 is to N. And why we have duplicate records of a sales order number in VBAP? Because these two are the primary keys. These two are acting as a primary key. So the combination of these two is unique. Combination of these two is unique. That's why 7510 and 7520 is possible. Now, from VBAP table, you require how many columns? Four columns. This is your postnar. This is your Matena. Matena. You require two more columns also. KWMENG and VRKME. You can see here itself or just good. You can select from the out, uh, input screen itself. Go for settings. Formal list. Choose fields. I will just deselect. VBELN, Postnar, Matenar. I will go for KWMENG. You can see we have KWMENG and then we have VRKME. I will apply. If you do not have the knowledge of these settings, you can refer the ABAP dictionary playlist. There I fully explained the data browser. You can learn all these shortcuts from there. I will execute. Now you can see we are able to see the data of these four columns. So we want to display that data of these four columns from VBAP table. Now, what is our third table? Our third table is MAKT table. Now we need to find the relationship of this VBAK or VBAP with MAKT table. Either VBAK is linked with, VB, with this MAKT or VBAP is linked with MAKT, but there must be some relationship. Because whenever you are developing a report, there must be a relationship between the tables. That's why you are able to display a collective report. Now I will go for this particular MAKT table. This is our MAKT table. Now you can see in MAKT table, we have a matinar column, material number. Do you have a matinar in VBAP table? Yes. It means... VBAP matenar is equal to MAKT matenar. You can simply, simply do control Y. Now control Y. I will simply scroll control C. I will go to contents and I will do control V. I will go for XC. 
whenever I am executing, you can see we are able to find the description of the materials. In this table also, we have these two primary keys, material number and language. That's why we are, have duplicate records of a material number, 42 in German. DE stands for German. You can see the F4 help also. DE stands for German. So we have this 42 material description is English also, German also. 134, German, English. 492, only, only in English. Now these two are acting as a acting as a primary key of that table. Anyways, we always rely on logon language. So what is our logon language? English. We are working in English as of now. So now you can see we are able to find a single record because we put material number also. We put language also. Whenever you are putting these two things, we are getting the single description. So the relationship between the tables is VBAK, VBELN is equal to VBAP, VBELN. And VBAP Matenar is equal to MAKT Matenar. After finding the relationship, you always, always has to start with the coding. Never blindly start with the coding. Now what I will do, I will start with the development of the program. And go major, major focus is on the new syntaxes. Wherever it is possible, we will make use of completely new syntaxes. I will go to SC38 transaction code and I will give some name to the program. Suppose I am saying ZPRG. Suppose sales order new syntax. I will go for create. I will write Title sales order report, and we will go for new syntax. I will choose the type as executable program. I will go for save, and I will save this program as a local object. So far, we studied small, small topics of SAP ABAP new syntaxes. Now we are combining into one program. Now, the input to the program is creation date and we will go for range. You all know whenever you have range, you need to go for select options. S underscore ER tag 4. Suppose I am writing LV underscore ER tag. Now, I will simply declare this LV underscore ER tag. Okay, I will declare. I just clicked on the activate button. I will declare LV underscore ER dat type ER dat. ER dat is the data element of this LV underscore ER dat. You can check from VBAK table. I will go for go to text elements selection text. And I will choose DDIC reference. This creation date, this created on is now from the data element. If I will run this program, you can see the input is ready. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we will use or we will develop a report. We started with a requirement which will be completely developed with the help of SAP ABAP new syntaxes. We will make use of inline data declaration. We will make use of new features of open SQL. We will go for table expression. We will go for value operator. And we took the requirement in which our input is creation date and output is of these six column and we will go for ALV. We will display the output in the form of ALV. The first and foremost thing, we need to find the relationship between the table and data always helps us to find the relationship. So VBELN of VBAK is equal to VBELN of VBAP. MATENAR of VBAP is equal to MATENAR of MAKT table. 
after that we simply simply pass the input to the program by taking the select option in the next video we will start with writing the queries and new syntaxes will start from the next video itself so that's it in this video thank you